So I think this moment in time is a test for us as human beings. I think it's a time when we really need to draw on our deepest pools of empathy and humanity to really correct and address some of the inequalities that are causing a, uh, a bevy of um, outcomes, none of which will actually benefit any of us. So can we replace me with we? Can we start to think about the collective over the individual and yet at the same time see ourselves as a solution? and an important solution, each and every one of us as a solution. If you think about where we've come from, the Hillary Institute was about recognising and celebrating transformative leaders, many of them in the climate action area, uh, who were mid-career in the world and, and really seeking to partner with them. And that's been done incredibly successfully. So now we have 11 extraordinary laureates uh, who are world leaders in their sphere. Then alongside that, we've had the attraction and the selection of fellows who wanted to come to Aotearoa, New Zealand with this idea that New Zealand can be a base camp for a better world. So there's been a uniting of purpose there. Where we see the opportunity is how we can bring these extraordinary cohorts of people who are really driven by passion and purpose and bring extraordinary influence, global voice, skills, resources and connections into Aotearoa and New Zealand in a way that can really activate impact. E te hunga mata ura ura, e aramai nei ki te tau tuka tura te nei katu kau papa. I like to acknowledge all of the all the talent that we have here in the room. This is about bringing together two global networks under the Hillary Institute umbrella who have already created enormous change as individuals bringing them together to catalyse even greater impact, not just for Aotearoa New Zealand but for the globe. I think our laureate and fellow communities are extraordinary by the sense of purpose that they have, the sense of ambition that they can and will change the world, but they want to do that in partnership with each other. So bringing the two together with the inspiration of Ed um, over it all, um, I think is immensely powerful. The Mission Studio activates exceptional people and innovation projects. It's about powering up system solutions from Aotearoa New Zealand with the intent that we can show global leadership to the rest of the world. The first grand challenge for the Mission Studio is going to be climate innovation simply because the urgency and the imperative is so great. We really only have seven to ten years to really act and also uh, we've got so many of our laureates and fellows that have extraordinary skills, capability and vision in this space. So sitting underneath the grand challenge we've chosen four mission focus areas. So the first of those is energy transition and that's about limiting the global temperature increase to 1.5 percent, everything to do with decarbonisation. The next one is is restoring nature and how do we protect and restore 50% of land and sea. The third one is sustainable food. How are we going to feed 10 billion people and do so with net zero food and fibre systems? And then the last one is resilient communities, something very close to every New Zealander's heart right now, which is how do we build the adaptive infrastructure, cities and communities to deal with climate impacts? I think climate innovation is a great topic for the first innovation challenge. I'm biased because I've been working on climate resilience planning with communities globally for the last decade. Um, but there are um, a lot of opportunities to help streamline and integrate all of the capacities that the fellows bring to this challenge. I mean, we've got amazing data and decision support tools. We have amazing uh, policy innovation. We have resources um, to fund new work on ground. Um, and there's a really tremendous opportunity for us to come together collectively and see how we're going to leverage all of those capacities for good. The Mission Studio represents to me um, a whole new vista opening up of ways in which I can personally work and work with others. And um, that's hugely inspiring and enlivening to me. Uh, and if this 
hadn't come along, I'm not sure quite whether I would have just kind of stopped and said, I've done my dash. I'm not sure I can do anything more. I've run out of ideas. But now with the mission studio and laureates and fellows coming together in this way, I'm going, whoa, there's just unlimited potential here that we so desperately need that we can harness and create amazing things that haven't happened before. So I, I'm just over the moon about the whole thing. What I'm excited about the Mission Studio is that we were all selected as individuals, obviously, and this is really the first chance to understand what the collective impact is when you bring us all together. Being part of this community, the Hillary Institute, the Edmund Hillary Fellowship, has been really important, not only for me, but I know for my fellow laureates. It's in these communities that we are able to scale our ideas and our work to use each other's networks that we've spent a lifetime creating to actually amplify and accelerate um, ideas that are proven on the ground, ready to go and working. Um, and that's really what's required now, this sort of move, as I said, away from me to we and how much further we can go, all of us together.